Did, did you did you feel at one point though that you might have got drug into the J Hood and D Block issues that you just wanted to make music? The biggest thing that happened with you um, recently was my expert opinion. I want to yeah. say to you. Why did you look like a deer in headlights after a while? You look like you ain't kind of know what the fuck was going on. Like, you you know, you it, it, there was a lot of J-Hood controversy there. You was there. But I remember at one point you was looking like, what the hell is happening? Well, Go ahead. Well, all right. See, this is the thing. I wasn't scheduled for my expert opinion to be on this show. I wasn't. Okay. At all. That wasn't the thing. Um, Prior, probably, probably maybe even a half a year or longer than that, um, me and Jay Hood uh, got in touch with each other through social media. We started just chop it up and you know vibe and say, like, "Yo, let's do some music." Bad, cool. You know what I mean? Sending tracks and we did the record. Get back months, 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 months way before the interview. So it wasn't like, "Yo, we did this interview. Now we got this record, and now we." Ma ma it wasn't like that. It was that we did the record mm -hmm. and we had it in the stash, and we was planning on building records and building something to put out. Um, so at that time, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't ask opinion. I don't ask for approval to do anything that I want to do. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that, but I did holler at, you know, um, kiss. I'm just like, yo, not all love, bro. It's all good. Nah, dude. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, cool. We can deal with each other. Right. Cool. So we started vibing out. That was that. Um, he had to come to New York to do the, my, my expert opinion show. Mm -hmm. So he's like, yo, while I'm up here, yo, let's knock out the video. So we like bet. So he's like, yo, meet me up at the show. I'm like, ah, I don't know, because, you know what I mean? It was some little funny, funny, funny uh, dealings with that prior, right? Mm -hmm. um, I was supposed to, I was in touch with math, and we were supposed to go up there. But you know how this shit go, mm -hmm. miscommunication, and it never happened. So I was, you know, I was feeling my way, you know what I'm saying, about the show. And so was he. Cause when I got there and I seen him, he was like, "Oh, that's that crazy! You ain't going to show." I'm like, "Yo, you don't remember the ah ah ah?" And he was like, "Oh, you right." And we mm -hmm. dapped up. It was all love. And he's like, "Yo, you here now? You fucking with us? Bike up!" So I was like, "Yo, hood is so good." He's like, "Yeah, it's so good." So that's how I even got there mm. to be mic'd up to be on the show, right? And all through the interview, I was learning things like everybody else was learning them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. During it, during that thing, you know what I'm saying? And um. It is what it is. Um, I have nothing but respect for Hood. You know what I'm saying? I got respect for Kids, Styles, She too. I, I'm not involved. It's like, yo, I ain't look at it like, yo, Shaheem and J Hood against them or not. I didn't I didn't look at it like but that. But you you know, I people like perceived it like you was cosigning or you had uh uh um information that this was this was gonna be the conversation. You know that's what Everybody perceived that because you sitting there, but I saw him. I'm like, he don't know what the fuck is going on because I know you. Yeah, I mean, I um, again, their whole issue, like this, is like yo, if I don't, if I eat, smoke and drink with dudes, and I don't benefit from it, right? I wasn't there when it was happy times with them, and I wasn't there when it was bad times with them. I didn't have no opinion about none of this shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't really even, to be honest, I didn't even give a fuck, really, because I just come out of prison, and nobody yeah. checked for me, yeah, so what yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. I give a fuck about yeah, what yeah. the fuck is going on with other niggas? Me and Hood, was, we was building a relationship, you know what I'm saying? And we was working on that. Boom, I had a relationship, I, I don't know what the call it was, Styles, Kiss, and we are right. We piece each other when we see each other, but that's as far as it ever went, right? Mm -hmm. For the last 20 years. So, what loyalty did I owe to anybody? I mm -hmm. didn't owe nobody no loyalty in this shit. I was just, just doing what I was doing, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, with time and intent, things things happen, but no way, no way in the fashion would I be like, no, nah, so, I didn't benefit. So, are you still doing the album with Jay Hood? Um, I would say timing is is not a good timing where I'm at in my life. I don't I don't know. We was on different times last we spoke. He he was in more of a rush than I am mm. to do the, the, that, and I think that's where it is. He just went on to move on to his label and what he got going on to push forward. But for me, you know what I'm saying. Um. I'm building, I'm rebuilding, I'm working on my life, I'm building myself up, right? So I 
I just didn't want to, I'm not rushing. I like things to be natural. I like things to happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Off, of, off of pure genuineness, right? I don't want to be making a record because I, I'm chasing fame or I need some money. Like it never comes out good that way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want to be at, I want to give the world the best me on the film, on the act, I mean, on the music. I want to give myself a hundred, a, a hundred percent chance. I want to give myself a shot this time. Mm-hmm. And, and that, and that's, and that's the real of it. Did, did you, did you feel at one point though that you might've got drug into the J hood and D block issues that you just wanted to make music? After the no, interview, because I, Sheik does an I, interview too, and just like, yo, I don't like that guy. I hate that guy. You just like, what the hell is going on? So did you feel like if he say he hates somebody you standing next to, where does that leave you? And you cool with him and you could like, where does that leave you? Tip-toe. 